Now, my children are actually too little to um, get the vaccine at this time, unfortunately. So I have a one and a half year old and a four year old. And so for the time being, my husband and I are watching with a lot of envy <laughs> at our friends whose children are now getting vaccinated. Um, you ask a really good question about how to weigh the risks and benefits. And I think this is something that all of us as parents, pediatricians, physicians, et cetera, that's all we think about, as in we want what's best for our children. And so it's very natural, very understandable that parents have a lot of questions and are thinking about this. So this is the way that I would consider this important question. One is to consider the extremely thoughtful, thorough, careful regulatory process that the vaccines have been through. As Dr. Murthy mentioned, there was this process going through the FDA, process going through the CDC that, that was transparent and that really took into every consideration in making sure that the vaccines are safe and effective in this age group of five to 11. The other very important part is for us to be very clear that even though children tend to not get as ill as adults, they can, and unfortunately, many have become very ill due to COVID-19. There is this false and pervasive narrative that we have to counter that somehow children are not susceptible to COVID, which is just not true. In this age group of 5 to 11, according to the CDC, there have been more than 1.9 million children who have gotten COVID-19. There have been more than 8,300 children who are hospitalized. About a third of them have ended up requiring intensive care. We also know that tragically about 100 children or so have died in this age group and that COVID in this group of 5 to 11 year olds is now one of the top 10 leading causes of death. And here's the thing, children are not supposed to get ill. They're not supposed to die from COVID. And I know that all of us as parents, we want to protect our children. And so if there's something we can do to protect them, and also very importantly, to give them their lives back so that they can have sleepovers and birthday parties and to, to reclaim the sense of normalcy that they have lost. I, I hope that that is what parents will consider in this important decision ahead.